Hey, this is Aaron Walpin with AWOL Audio Productions here at the Track Studio in Dallas, Texas. And I'm going to show you how to make your condenser mic sound its best. For me, the way to make a condenser mic sound its best is to pick the right condenser mic for the right application in the first place. So for something like a vocal or, you know, a nice room mic or something, uh, I tend to go with a large diaphragm condenser like this one. This is a U195 Sound Deluxe. Um, for something a little more brighter, something like a hi-hat or uh, an acoustic guitar, I tend to go with something more like a pencil condenser. Uh, these are great because you can really point it at, at, the, at the part of the instrument you really want to focus on. Um, so th these tend to be a little brighter, so keep that in mind. In any case, when the opportunity is there and you're recording something that's kind of, uh, you know, has high frequencies, you want to cut the low frequencies with a high pass filter. So if your mic has that, I, I shoot for that. If it doesn't, then I would go to my preamp or, or my console and hopefully that has a high pass filter on. This just helps get rid of some of that low end rumble and really lets you bring out all the other good frequencies the mic's trying to pick up. So I hope this helps. Um, feel free to leave me a message. I'd be happy to answer them. Again, this is Aaron Walpin with AWOL Audio Productions here at the Track Studio in Dallas. I hope you have a good one. Thanks.